Okay everyone, so now we are going to develop the Windows application and here we are going to make a program to change the back color of form, label, button and the text box. So all these control back color we are going to change. So first of all we have started with the project and the name of the project we have given is change color. Now here we are going on the toolbox. From the toolbox, we are dragging and dropping a button. Then we are going with other controls like we have taken a label here. Then further, we have taken the text box. So we are scrolling down for the text box. And here's a text box, so we are taking it. So these are the three controls. Their color we want to change. Now you can see that form one so let's say I want to change the name of form. So I'm clicking here. I'm giving them the name. Let's say my name I'm giving. Now afterward, we are having the label. Let's say if I want to change the name of label, I can go to the properties or I can double click on the form. And I can also say that label one dot text. Let's say we are writing here, hello. So we can write the text any text we want why we are done this coding on the form load because let's say if I will start this program then while I start the program it will execute and show you the hello so that's why on the form load I have done the coding similarly if I want to change the text of button I will double click here means when the form load at that time this code will be executed this is like the startup so here I will say button one dot text. Let's say I'm writing is click. So whenever I will run the program, it will be shown. So I am running the program. You can see that form is now loading. And when the form is loading, hello is the text of label and click is the text of button. Now we are going towards the coding of button. Let's say I want that if I click on the button, then afterward, the background color change so I double click over there now if I has to change the background color of the form I will not write form 1 whenever we are having the active form active form means on which we are working then we will write me for that so here I will write me me means the active form on which we are working dot back color so let's say I am giving a back color color dot aqua so me means active form so if I run this project then afterward if I click on this button you can see that the form color is aqua so I'm going to code the other controls so talking about the next control here let's say the label if I want to change the back color of label so again we are going to the coding and we will write label one dot back color so this is the back color let's say we can provide any color like color dot orange so we can provide any color of our choice or you can give any other color if you want let's say you can provide a dark orange you want a olive or simple orange you can provide it sometimes you will be given with the drawing dot color dot orange so that is perfectly okay because drawing is the super class of this color so sometimes in any of the dot net version you may be getting drawing dot color dot orange or drawing dot color dot aqua perfectly fine so this is how we can change the back color of label let's say we want to change the back color of this text box so this text box one is there we are going back to the coding so text box one dot back color is equal to let's say we are giving some color so color dot let's say we are giving the blue here so color dot blue now if you want to change the color of this button then the button is button one so we are going to the coding we will write button one dot back color and that is equal to let's say we are giving the color color dot you can give any color I'm giving the red color here so you can see that here we have given certain colors now if I run this project now you can see that 
while i was running this project it is hello means the form was loaded so label was become hello and button text become the click now i click the button here and you can see that on the click of button this code run me me means the active form you can see that if i am clicking on this me if i am moving the mouse over here so this is the form 1 now let's say i am doing the coding in the form 1 so me is representing the form 1 for all the other forms i should be writing their name let's say if i am going to do the coding in any other form so there i will write me for that and for the form 1 i will write the name so simply you should understand me represent the active form and for the other forms we should write their names so here we are writing me dot back color color dot aqua so the form back color is the aqua then label one dot back color you can see that this is the label one and the back color is orange then text box one back color is blue this is the text box one blue and button one back color is red so you can see that the back color is red similarly we can provide the four color also so this is how we can provide the back color to the form label text box and the button